So, this technique is called the Choi Bar, named after a guy, Choi Won Choi, who actually got this technique on me at the Nogi Worlds a few years ago. And after that happened, I studied the footage and then actually looked up a few YouTube clips, and he actually gets on everyone. So, I decided I'd try and learn it. And it works really well. So, I've got half guard here, like this, always trying to keep the, a bit of space with the knee shield. And to get the Choi Bar to work, I want Liv to think it's a good idea to grab my head. So if she can grab my head, especially like deep where the elbows to here, it's going to be really hard for me to get this to work. So if we go back one step, I just kind of block her head and I grab the back of the shoulder and keep her head a little bit away. So she's going to grab my head now. I'll even like give her the cross face and bring my head in close. But she'll never get that elbow just deep enough to actually be able to pull in and close the gap and keep her head tight. So once we're here, as soon as she grabs me, I actually don't want to let her be able to let go. So I'm actually going to try and like lock her wrist against my shoulder and use my left hand to come behind the shoulder cuff and pull in. So try and pull your arm away now, Liv. So she's actually kind of trapped to me. Once I've got that trapped, I'm pulling down on this shoulder now. I start trying to free my right leg like that. And my right leg is going to come over the top like that, and start to lift my hips up. As I do that, my aim is to turn the elbow to rotate the shoulder like that. You can get a straight arm bar here, it's definitely possible, but most of the time, with trapping here, my aim is just to start to turn the shoulder like that. As soon as the shoulder turns, try and posture up, Liv. That should make it really hard for her to get good posture. It gives me room for my right foot to come over to the hip. Now, if she keeps her arm straight, get the straight out just arm bar from here. So I'm just going to feed the leg through, pinch the knees and extend. Most of the time people will start to get a bit worried. So we go again, block the head. I let her grab my head, come under, keep everything tight, swing my leg over. Most of the time when you get to here, they start to pull their hand back, seeing the arm bar coming like that. When that happens, hide your arm, so I can't arm it. Yeah. So now I can't arm it. Yeah. If it's floating, you just attack the wrist. As soon as they trap their hand there, we switch grips and we get the Kimura grip and then we do the same thing. From here, foot goes on the hip. If I can, I kick and pull to get the Kimura. If she holds that tight, I start resisting and lift my hips up, feed the leg through. Once my right leg's through like that, I want to feed my left hand as high as possible onto my thigh. I can use my right hand to post. Now when I turn into the hips, it's going to roll her. Very common mistake. You grab the chin or uh, you connect your hands but not properly yet and then they start falling down. That's when people pop their head out.